Morning Aquarius, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Hey ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is to go on and just give you a how your ex truly feels about you reading, which will be valid until the end of this month. I've decided, ladies and gentlemen, to go on and use my African American tarot deck as already shuffled and illustrated as we see here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, again, this reading is valid until the end of this month. And um, while going through this reading, ladies and gentlemen, if it resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, let's go on and get started here with just examining the card that fell to the bottom of my deck here. We have this Eight of Pentacles, okay? So the sun rules this card, and of course it's connected to Virgos, Taurus, as well as Capricorn. And ladies and gentlemen, this card is in fact all about self-confidence, you know, proficiency and devotion. Therefore, your ex uh, feels that you are kind of willing, you know, ladies and gentlemen, to give your union perhaps another shot. As he or she kind of feels that you really want a strength and uh, commitment. But he or she might also feel that you're somewhat naive, you know, when it comes to matters of the heart, ladies and gentlemen. In any event, I'm kind of feeling that your ex feels that you want to kind of start over on a new plateau of experience, of experiences, if you will. Okay, let's look at your next card here. We have, um, um, we have that Ace of Swords. Um, card that kind of falls there in your reading, okay? And that refers to air, an air type sign and um, Libra, Gemini and or Aquarius as yourself. And this card is all about truth, you know, initiative and clarity of mind. So your ex feels that you are reserved and maybe trying to clarify matters at this time. Consequently, I feel maybe making a more informed decision as it relates to him or her, you know? And you might also uh, want uh, to kind of use your head, you know, rather than your heart, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, since he or she wants to kind of, I feel, talk things out with you, or, you know, and or feels that you would want to do this, do this as well. Um, but this card is kind of suggesting that if you do, decide to go on and just have a discussion with your ex, kind of get old, get rid of old or old emotions that, you know, have not been working for you and kind of resist your desire, um, ladies and gentlemen, to kind of control this, this situation, okay? Just let it flow naturally, okay? Let's move right along and look at your next card uh, right here. We have that high priestess, okay? So the moon rules cancer with this card, okay? So, this card is all about, you know, mystery, you know, secrets and potential. So, your ex kind of feels, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm kind of getting here that you are a very emotional person and even for some of you, very, very intuitive, you know? And here she kind of finds that you are even perhaps mysterious and might even feel um, he or she might even feel that you're kind of holding a secret or withholding a secret um, from him of her, you know, and perhaps um, your ex is feeling that is more to you than really, or feels that you're feeling somehow that it is more um, than him or her than what really meets the eye. You know, I'm kind of feeling that your ex feels you're holding a secret you know, in some sense, okay? And perhaps that secret that he's feeling, in some sense, he's feeling that maybe some of you are even having a side affair, you know? However, he or she does feel that, you know, I'm kind of feeling that he feels, he or she feels that, you know, you're kind of feeling the same um, karmic type feelings that he's feeling as if, or she's feeling that you two are kind of share a very strong psychic, you know, type connection with one another, okay? And your last card here, ladies and gentlemen, we have there is an Ace of Pentacles. And that, of course, denotes an Earth sign. So that refers to a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And this card is all about contentment, you know, opportunity, and happiness. So this card says that your ex kind of feels 
you know, or, or or your ex feels that you kind of see that perhaps there is a second chance for a reunion for kind of maybe reestablishing things, ladies and gentlemen, thereby, you know, securing a more committed type relationship that I'm kind of getting here, you know, and what this card is also suggesting too is that I'm kind of feeling that because you have these two aces here, there's a very good chance that you two are going to reunite and kind of have some communication to kind of move the relationship forward but one thing about you know this last ace here that's in your reading is that you know try not to allow your stubbornness kind of get in the way of potentially a good opportunity you know try not to refuse you know the various opportunities that might come up in conjunction with this person perhaps that you may want to reconnect okay or this person with whom you'd like to reconnect so, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered a thought for you. I'm going to also be following up um, shortly with a more gender-based type of reading of who's coming towards you um, as well. So, once again, if this reading resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Ladies and gentlemen, I certainly will be looking forward to hearing your comments. And if interested in a more personalized reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Do enjoy your day and thanks again for viewing.